Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the final weapon guide on Cold War Zombies. Yes, it has been an insane year and we have finally gotten the last weapon in Cold War and that is obviously the hammer and sickle. So in today's video, I will be trying to do this video as fast as possible because this is actually quite easy, but it can be confusing as to what exactly you're supposed to do on the challenge to unlock it. Before we fully get into it, you should subscribe. We just hit 30k subscribers. Thank you all so much. And Vanguard is just around the corner. So if you're looking forward to Vanguard content, <laughs> your boy got you and also be sure to drop a like on the video as that does really help it spread out and help others so instead of looking at the multiplayer challenge for the hammer and sickle which is actually quite annoying and stupid where you need to go into a game and get a melee kill and a tomahawk kill in 15 different matches that you fully have to complete yeah i don't know i, I personally i don't want to do that but you can actually easily do this in zombies where the challenge might sound confusing because you might not know what the certain thing is and the challenge reads that you need to get 12 orbs destroyed in outbreak. If you don't know what these orbs are, they can basically spawn on every single map and they have a certain amount of spawn locations on these maps and all you have to do with a melee weapon, walk up, hit it three times in three different locations and move on. So to kind of explain this better to you, when you spawn into a game, for example, as you can see Alpine gameplay, I actually spawned in front of one of these orbs straight away and all I had to do was run up to it and hit it. Now you can hit it up to like four to three times, depends on the orb itself, until the orb decides to shake and move to a different location. Now the bad thing about this is, these orbs aren't marked on your mini map or on your map map on Outbreak, so it can be a bit difficult to spot them. But after hitting the orb once, it'll move to a different location where you can hit it again. And then lastly, it'll move to a different location. So you have to keep following it. Make sure you do because it is kind of time based. But the cool thing about this is there is a website out there that literally has every single orb marked on every single Outbreak map. So instead of me making this video extremely long and telling you every single location, since most maps have like five and then Armada has only three locations, I will link that website down below and huge shout out to these people that created it. It is actually great because you can complete this challenge in seconds with the guide of that website. And the coolest thing is after destroying this orb, make sure it is with a melee weapon, you can just simply back out and go back into another game because I'm pretty sure the orb only spawns in once into each region on Outbreak. So don't waste your time. Find the orb straight away with the guide of that website. Go up to it, hit it once, chase after it to the next location, hit it again, chase it after to the next location, hit it again, and you're done with the first thing. The melee weapon I definitely recommend for you to use is either the size, which are great because they can help you sprint fast and also do huge jumps, which will get you around the map fast, and also the E-tool, which which just you know it just makes you run super fast so that's it for the guide definitely check out the website it has literally every single location that you need good luck unlocking the hammer sickle the last <laughs> the last melee weapon and i'll see you all guys in vanguard on vanguard on friday really exciting peace out